Weekly Artificial Intelligence News. Hello, viewers. Welcome back to your one-stop shop for all news AI. We're back once more with the latest, sometimes shocking happenings of the artificial intelligence universe. From improvements in AI, thanks to facial analysis, urging caution in use of AI in mammography, and dynamics of AI in the metaverse, all the way to ways AI saves wildlife, bringing together AI and wearables and upgrades in AI assistance systems. We have it all and more. So, without further ado, let's jump right into our weekly updates. However, before we do, we request you to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss another upload of ours. Having said that, let's get right to it. Highlights of the week. Facial analysis improves diagnosis. Many sufferers of rare diseases endure an odyssey until the correct diagnosis is made. The goal is to detect such diseases at an early stage and initiate appropriate therapy as soon as possible, says Professor Dr. Peter Kravitz from the Institute for Genomic Statistics and Bioinformatics at the University Hospital Bonn in Germany. The majority of rare diseases are genetic. The underlying hereditary mutations often cause varying degrees of impairment in different areas of the body. In most cases, these hereditary changes are also expressed by characteristic facial features. For example, because eyebrows, the base of the nose, or the cheeks are shaped in a distinctive way. However, this varies from disease to disease. Artificial intelligence, or AI, uses these facial characteristics, calculates the similarities, and automatically links them to clinical symptoms and genetic data of patients. The face provides us with a starting point for diagnosis, says Tsung Chen Xie of Kravitz's team. It is possible to calculate what the disease is with a high degree of accuracy. The AI system, Gestalt Matcher, described in the current publication, is a continued development of Deep Gestalt, which the IGSB team trained with other institutions a few years ago. While Deep Gestalt still required about 10 non-related affected persons as a reference for training, its successor, Gestalt Matcher, requires significantly fewer patients for feature matching. This is a great advantage in the group of very rare diseases where only a few patients are reported worldwide. A great initiative, isn't it? Researchers urging caution on AI in mammography. Some bad always seems to accompany the good, isn't it so? Analyzing breast cancer tumors with artificial intelligence has the potential to improve healthcare efficiency and outcomes. But doctors should proceed cautiously because Similar technological leaps previously led to higher rates of false positive tests and over-treatment. That's according to a new editorial in JAMA Health Forum co-written by Joanne G. Elmore, MD, MPH, a researcher at the UCLA Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center, the Rosalind and Arthur Gilbert Foundation Endowed Chair in Healthcare Delivery and Professor of Medicine at the David Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA. Without a more robust approach to the evaluation and implementation of AI, given the unabated adoption of emergent technology in clinical practice, we are failing to learn from our past mistakes in mammography, the JAMA Health Forum editorial states. The piece, posted online Friday, was co-written by Christoph I. Lee, MD, MS, MBA, a professor of radiology at the University of Washington School of Medicine. One of those past mistakes in mammography, according to the authors, was adjunct computer-aided detection, or CAD tools, which grew rapidly in popularity in the field of breast cancer screening starting more than two decades ago. CAD was approved by the FDA in 1998, and by 2016, more than 92% of U.S. imaging facilities were using the technology to interpret mammograms and hunt for tumors. But the evidence showed CAD did not improve mammography accuracy. CAD tools are associated with increased false positive rates, leading to overdiagnosis of ductal carcinoma in situ and unnecessary diagnostic testing, the authors wrote. Medicare stopped paying for CAD in 2018, but by then, the tools had racked up more than $400 million a year in unnecessary health costs. Responsible AI a priority in Metaverse According to a recent Bloomberg Intelligence report, the metaverse is a staggering $800 billion market. Still, others argue about what the metaverse actually is, but with so much money and curiosity surrounding it, it has everyone talking. Undoubtedly, AI will play a huge role in the metaverse, especially as we communicate with others. 
While we'll be more connected than ever, AI untethered to any government, standard or ethical code can have diabolical implications. As former Google CEO Eric Schmidt asked recently, who gets to set the rules? Because AI algorithms are built by people with biases, they can be created to follow the thought patterns and biases of their creators, which can then multiply. We've seen how AI can create gender bias, for example, or how AI can give larger credit limits to men than women, or that certain ethnicities are more prone to unfair bias. To create a flourishing and more equitable metaverse, dark AI patterns that can create and perpetuate bias need to be addressed. But who gets to decide? And how can humans avoid bias? The solution to mitigate this unchecked AI is to develop ethical standards across all organizations. From our view, dark AI patterns can be invasive. Most AI is developed without ethical oversight, and this must change in the metaverse. Ways that AI is saving wildlife There's a strand of thinking, from sci-fi films to Stephen Hawking, that suggests artificial intelligence could spell doom for humans. But conservationists are increasingly turning to AI as an innovative tech solution to tackle the biodiversity crisis and mitigate climate change. A recent report by wildlabs.net found that AI was one of the top three emerging technologies in conservation. From camera trap and satellite images to audio recordings, the report notes, AI can learn how to identify which photos out of thousands contain rare species, or pinpoint an animal call out of hours of field recordings, hugely reducing the manual labor required to collect vital conservation data. AI is helping to protect species as diverse as humpback whales, koalas, and snow leopards, supporting the work of scientists, researchers, and rangers in vital tasks, from anti-poaching patrols to monitoring species. With machine learning, or ML, computer systems that use algorithms and models to learn, understand, and adapt, AI is often able to do the job of hundreds of people, getting faster, cheaper, and more effective results. AI helps preserving wildlife in not one, but various different ways, such as stopping poachers, tracking water loss, finding whales, protecting koalas, as well as counting species. Combination of wearables and AI will revolutionize healthcare. Artificial intelligence capabilities are many and extremely valuable, no doubt about that. One of the challenges that we encounter today is the fact that doctor's time is reduced and very limited, so the doctor cannot deal with patient's data and being asked to create inexistent time is more or less impossible. That's where AI comes in. Wearables are already being used to monitor heart rate, body temperature, blood pressure, and glucose levels. Artificial intelligence, or AI, can do a lot more. For instance, nowadays, wearables are able to read the movements of the user and understand their commands to optimize the fitness and health metric. Being able to analyze such data is just one of many possibilities that AI has open for your wearables. Artificial intelligence is a future that is only decades away. As the IoT evolves, wearables will be able to better understand and interact with us. There are many examples of AI applications in medical insurance, health management, and even in retail. These are just a few ways you can use wearables in healthcare. The combination of wearables and AI will be the game changer in healthcare. Value sensitive design approach for designing AI based assistance systems. Although artificial intelligence has been given an unprecedented amount of attention in both the public and academic domains in the last few years, its convergence with other transformative technologies like cloud computing, robotics, and augmented or virtual reality is predicted to exacerbate its impacts on society. The adoption and integration of these technologies within industry and manufacturing spaces is a fundamental part of what is called Industry 4.0, or the Fourth Industrial Revolution. The impacts of this paradigm shift on the human operators who continue to work alongside and symbiotically with these technologies in the industry bring with it novel ethical issues. Therefore, how to design these technologies for human values becomes the critical area of intervention. This newly published paper in Science Direct takes up the case study of robotic AI-based assistance systems to explore the potential value implications that emerge due to current design practices and use. The design methodology known as Value Sensitive Design, or VSD, is proposed as a sufficient starting point for designing these technologies for human values to address these issues. With that, we come to the end of our weekly updates. 
If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Join in next week for more of such exciting updates.